What's happening? What's going on, folks? Boys and girls, music lovers all across the world. Anthony back with Metal Miners. Let's talk about some tapes tonight. Y'all want to? I've got several I want to show you. Uh, it's been laying around here. Some of them have been here for a couple months, but uh, <clears throat> I've been listening to them, getting my head wrapped around them. Um, I mean, I sampled them before I bought them, but I like to really get into them. Uh, in the background, we're listening to this cerebral rot. Mine came in the mail uh, first to last week, maybe. I think I was the last one to get one on a pre order 20 bucks spin. <clears throat> of course, you know, these guys from the Pacific Northwest, they're doing it right. I mean, if you hadn't listened to this, you need to check it out. Uh, pick you up a copy, it's, it's exceptional. Cerebral rot. 20 bucks spin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, let's jump right in. I got about um, uh, nine or ten cassettes I want to show you. I've been on a little cassette binge lately. I've really enjoyed these things, and uh, I don't know. I've got to wean myself off of them and get back to what I'm supposed to be doing. But I, I try to get just uh, EPs or, or demos on cassette, but sometimes if there's not a vinyl available or I just... Um, I just fall in the trap, man, you know what I mean? Uh, first off, uh, Skull Maggot. Um, Kill and Die is the name of this. This is a full length. Skull Maggot's a two-piece um, from Helsinki, Finland. It came on this, uh, this red shell here. Uh, this came out 2021 on Headsplit Records. This is death metal. Um, there are two pieces, like I said, you get eight tracks. It's a little over 19 and a half minutes, something like that, uh, long. Uh, they've been active since 2015. Um, and this is their second full length. Let me get that up where y'all can see it. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, one guy does all the uh, instruments, the other, guys do the, the other guy does the vocals. Um, this, this is exceptional. Um, the guitars are thick. Uh, it's got uh, two different vocal styles on it that's kind of mixed and it works real well. There's no bells and whistles. It's just straightforward uh, death metal. That art there is by uh, Warhead Art. Uh, you see him on uh, Instagram all the time. Good stuff. If you haven't heard of it, uh, Skull Maggot. Check it out. It came out on Head Split this year and uh, I picked mine up at Caligari. Next, here's an old one. Mortis Skull. Gory Departure Demo. Uh, this demo was actually released in 1990. This is a uh, 2021 uh, reissue naturally on Scumlord. Uh, I believe Scumlord's out of Canada. That thing's cracked right there. I just noticed that. This is good stuff. If you're not familiar with Mortis Skull, uh, these guys from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, they were pioneers in the U.S. death metal scene. Uh, when you get one of these and listen to it, it's like going back in time. Man, I really enjoy this. Um, I picked this up from Stump Grinder Records. Uh, Stumpy's run. I don't know if this will get out in time uh, for y'all to do it. Stumpy's uh, having a birthday sale tomorrow, and he's got all three uh, in a collection, like for $20, the first three demos. Um, these guys have been active since 1990. Like I say, this was their first. They have like six full lengths out now. Um, just super stuff. I mean, they had a full length out last year. Uh, the name of it was Suffer for Nothing. This is, a, you know, they're a four piece. With this demo, you get four tracks, 13 minutes, 21 seconds of old school death metal. Uh, they, they never disappoint always come through. Check this out if you haven't. Uh, if you're in the U.S., death metal, early 90s death metal, when it all began, uh, this is a must. You need to check it out. Mortis Skull, Gory Departure, their first demo. Can't go wrong with that. Something a little different. I've had this one for quite a while. Uh, Liam showed it, I don't know, several months ago. Uh, this is Tourist Iberno. Iberno, I think is how you say it. I'm not real sure. Uh, I picked this one up at Caligari. Uh, these guys, this is a two-piece. This was um, 
This was put together during the uh, the quarantine in 2020. Uh, it's an international band, Milan, Italy, and um, I think New York uh, in the United States. These guys, if you look on Metal Archives, they're listed as, there's the inside of the J card, they're listed as uh, experimental uh, death metal. And uh, when you think about experimental death metal, it's probably just about what you would think it would be. Um, there's, a, uh, there's a piano in here. Just for a minute, there's like some organ sounds. Um, come on, this clear shell. It's kind of progressive, uh, not really technical, but I mean, it's a real good listen. Don't don't write it off. Uh, if you if you never heard of these guys, uh, give them a chance. Check out that first track there, Unified Fields. Um, I think I'm sure it's on Spotify and every other uh, streaming network. But uh, you you'll really enjoy it. Like I say, uh, this is an everlasting spew. Uh, did the um, CD and Caligari did the uh, the cassette the uh, cover arts by Babel Moghal um, it's just I really enjoy it I mean uh, it's something different uh, it may not be for everybody but I think you'll enjoy it here to go let's see here what we got next oh here's one everybody will know <clears throat> Parallax Occlusion, Ray Traces of Death. This one just came out, Gurgling Gore. Um, of course, Parallax Occlusion is a two-piece uh, from Ontario, Canada. Uh, there wasn't any credits given to the artwork on this cover here, but um, man, look at that cassette. That's killer, isn't it? Of course, Parallax Occlusion is a two-piece. On this one, you get three tracks, uh, 21 and a half minutes of death metal. Um, this thing came out on several labels. Uh, this is a Gurgling Gore cassette version, but uh, according to whether you got CD, cassette, or vinyl, several labels were involved in this deal. Um, these guys, if you like the first one, if you like last year's demo, this is a demo itself, like I say, but if you like last one, uh, Exponential Decay, there's no reason why you won't like this one. It's, it's more of the same. Um, it's, it's just great stuff. I'm waiting for a full length from these guys. They're ex absolutely amazing. That's the, um, the new death metal sound, I guess people are calling it now, uh, these guys are putting out, but uh, I really enjoy it. This one came from Life After Death. Uh, it's hard to see. Tortuary. Um, Eric put this out. This is Demo 2020. Uh, Tortuary is a one-piece. Uh, Mr. Nicholas Camiola is the guy's name. You get four tracks, almost 12 minutes of death metal. Uh, he's from Cleveland, Ohio. Here's inside of that J card. Uh, musically, uh, horror film samples at the beginning of every song. Uh, there's actually a, uh, a cover of a Poison Eyed Idea cover on <clears throat> here. Four tracks. It's the, uh, the fourth track on here. It's good stuff. I really enjoy it. Um, when I was looking on Metal Archives, doing some research on this guy, he plays drums. Uh, for a, a band on uh, Maggot Stomp label, uh, Sarcophagus. Um, real good stuff. Uh, guitar driven. Uh, it's, I mean, it's just great stuff. He's an excellent musician. Uh, I guess he plays drums for that other band, but man, he's a good guitarist. Here's one you'll love. Boris, I picked this one up at Famine Records. Uh, Traversing the Non-Existent. Uh, of course, everybody knows this is one of Uriel's bands. Um, Uriel, they're living in Romania now, listed as Diva Romania. Uh, this come out this year. Uh, Detonation Records did the CD. Macabre End Productions did the cassette. Uh, of course, Boris is a three-piece. And on this, this is uh, a full length really small writing in there but you see it the art here's by Jan Whitney 
excellent stuff. Um, their discography, they've been active since 2017 under this Boris name. Of course, you know Uriel's got other bands, Morbicus, uh, Necrorite, Reveler, Putrid. Um, the guitar tone on this is just, just like you want it. Karina's bass is just, stands out, sounds great. Doru's drums are great. I mean, the vocals are great. I really enjoy this. This is their second uh, full length and um, it's a banger. Check it out if you haven't. All right, I got four more and there's a pair from each of these bands. The first one I want to show you is Putrescine. I think that's the way you say it, Putrescine. Um, this is their Putrescent Utterance Demo. Uh, these guys are from Berlin, Germany. The art here on the cover is by a guy named Mork. The label is by Phil. Uh, they're a three-piece band. You get four tracks, about 15 and a half minutes. Check out that shell. It's pretty cool, huh? These guys have got two demos out uh, for their discography, and this is their first. Uh, it's just great. Uh, I, I really like this. Um, I don't know how to describe it rather than just um, lots of tremolo style riffing in here, um, demo production, uh, cavernous vocals. I mean, it's just it's just great stuff. Putrescine, putrescent utterance. Like I say, this is their first demo. Uh, these guys have been uh, at it for a couple of years. This one came out in 2020 on Unholy Domain. And then the next one I want to show you is their second one. I'm pretty sure this one's self-released. This one came out this year, 2021. Um, uh, musically, it's a, uh, a little bit cleaner production than the first one. But I actually prefer the first one. I'm pretty sure this is self-released here. Um, Got a pretty good J card in here. No nod to the art here on the cover of this one. It's kind of dark here, but you can see. I see a picture of the guys there. Like I say, they, these guys here are the three piece from Berlin. The first one you get four tracks, 15 and a half, and on this one you get three tracks in a little over 12 minutes. Um, Give them, a sh uh, give them a try. I'll pick these up at Caligari. I think you can still get both of them there. Um, great stuff. You can pick these two up and you will have their complete discography. I think these guys will uh, do something good here before long. Not these aren't good. I mean something. You'll see them doing some things. Uh, Brian Arkham had sent me a, a cassette from this band Mortiferoth uh, in a care package he sent me. And uh, I checked it out, it was their full length from uh, a couple years ago maybe, I can't remember. But anyway, I went back and uh, found these two on Goat Throne Records and ordered them. Uh, this is their 2019 uh, Darkness Fills Our Eyes demos. Uh, if you're not familiar with these guys, they're a, a, a three piece out of Queens, New York. Uh, this one came out, there you can see it on Hail Shatar Records. Uh, this is number 71 of 99. The art here on the front is by a guy named Spot Smite. Came on this pinkish colored shell. Very cool stuff. Um, they always throw in some stickers. Hell Shatar is a, uh, a label out of Canada, I'm pretty sure pretty cool stuff uh, these guys um, you, with these guys this is demo quality stuff I mean as you can tell they progress I listened to these this one twice before I did the uh, started making the video and listened to the other one one more time but each time they put something new out it progresses a little bit uh, for me the recording gets a little bit better the musicianship gets a little bit better uh, they use two vocalists uh, the guy that plays guitar uh, does vocals and the drummer uh, does vocals. Uh, the drummer's a little bit higher pitch and the guitars are more of a guttural uh, traditional death metal sound but both of them are good and they work together to, to uh, make it sound right. 
The second one I wanted to show you was their third demo. That one was their second demo. I don't have their first. This one was their third demo, overall secret secrecy. Um, and it came out on El Shatar as well. And this is number 65 of 99. This one came out in 2020. Um, this one, uh, swampy, thick guitars. Like I say, he shares the vocals. Backside of that's just blank. Um, same artist. Again, they come with these cool stickers. That one's upside down. Now that one's upside down. Something like that. Can't figure it out. There's the J card on the inside. Folds out into a little poster. It's cool stuff if you haven't heard from these guys. Like I say, they're from Queens, New York. Uh, they play a, you know, their own style of a, like an old school style of uh, that East Coast uh, death metal. Cool guys. I watch them playing live on uh, uh, YouTube several times. It looks like they're having a good time, man. These. I'd love to see them live. More to fear off. Check them out if you haven't. Uh, that's about it. I've got um, some albums. I'm gonna try to do one this weekend. And uh, but I just wanted to get some of these uh, cassettes out of the way. Man, I'm really loving these cassettes. I've got to quit buying them. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm already just eating rice and pork and beans uh, for lunch and pop tarts for breakfast. Man, trying to pay for this stuff. But uh, I appreciate y'all watching. And remember, only the good stuff.